All right, peoples. Hey, everybody. Hey. Man, How oh man. My darling, how is life? I'm doing, how is everything? I'm doing good. How are you on a little vacation, a little different setup, huh? And in a literal tiny cabin in New Hampshire. It's awesome. So <laughs> blizzarded, cute. blizzarded last night. So it's, you know. But let's jump in. I'm excited. So before yeah. we talk about the episode, I wanted to just like, I figured we'd talk a little bit about like just random bachelor tea that we like hear mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. So I heard some tea that Dylan, I don't know if you remember Dylan from Hannah season. He, he kind of left early on, but then he ended up being on paradise and he ended up with Hannah G. Oh yeah. Dylan um, Barber. Yeah. Exactly. I love Dylan their YouTube channel. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I love them. They're so cute. They're so um, cute. So he, I guess, was asked a question about, you know, who do you feel like got shafted in how they were edited in the show or in the episode, in, you know, on the show? And the person that he said was Jed. <laughs> and so then he kind of like went into this whole thing of <clears throat> like the produce. Basically, he's saying that the producers like set up that whole thing. Like he never really cheated on her. There was never really a girlfriend or I don't know if it was that there was never a girlfriend or that like the girl really, him and her were not anything anymore or they just pulled it out of the woodwork and it basically just sabotaged everything. Um, so I didn't get a chance to like dig in any deeper into like the different like platforms that were talking about it but I was just like interested in hearing that because you know I've heard stuff like that but I'm like do they really go that far to like sabotage yeah. The, yeah. the final couple but right. the fact that he said that was like yo he got like shafted he got jacked up by the producers because that whole thing wasn't true basically what do you what do you think <laughs> i mean i i haven't i didn't hear direct directly from dylan so i can't but from what you're yeah. saying i feel like if he's saying it sounds really extreme that he's like oh it didn't happen at all or whatever but i feel like i don't think the producers would go so far as to be like make something up you know what i mean and on top of that, I remember when that whole thing first came out, I literally watched his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, whoever, I watched her on somebody's podcast um, mm -hmm. who has like a pretty big podcast um, in Nashville or something. And yeah, I heard her talk about it. And it seemed very like, it seemed kind of like, yeah, I could understand this actually being a thing or being like, um, my mom's grabbing something. Um, oh. And I don't know, it's, it didn't seem like, what, this came out of nowhere and this makes no sense. Yeah. Like there are pictures of them together on the vacations mm -hmm. that she was talking about. I saw them. Like, yeah. I mean, and the, even the things that Hannah brought up after the fact that they yeah. were together, that we <laughs> never, that wasn't even a part of the girlfriend stuff. Like, oh, I'm right. having other girls over and being like, yeah. with my friends, but Hannah kind of being like, mm. like there was other stuff that kind of fed into it that made Jed be like, no you're you're trash like you're yeah. kind of trash. but I think yeah. that's sure I feel, I feel like there's an element of truth to their producers are gonna fluff it up and make it make mm -hmm. him even worse out to be than he I don't know but even watching it, I don't really remember him being like on the show he wasn't a trash guy it was really just <laughs> all the backlash after the fact yeah so I really yep. don't think it was even I don't really get what he's saying of like producers because on the show I, I he wasn't Gosh. I thought it was interesting that like of all the people he could have talked about or all the things he could have said he brought that out and like I feel like I feel like you know I've heard like even Tyler allude to that like how like the whole thing with Jed was really blown out of proportion or something but uh -huh. it just made me think about like because I'll be honest like I know we haven't dived into the episode yet but it it's kind of the way I feel about Rachel right now like I feel like there's I have such a preconceived like view of her based on all the yeah. rumors and drama that I don't know there's a part of me that wonders like do they like is there an element where the producers are like 
fluffing it or like leaking it or like just to bring like awareness to the show or like put stuff you know how it's like any publicity is good publicity type thing and Mm -hmm. I don't um, not to say it's completely not true or completely out of nowhere or just made up but I think it did make me think about that like you know I feel like I have such a preconceived view of her and we really don't know whether it's really legit I mean I think if yeah totally I totally agree with you with the Rachel thing but I think if anyone is blowing out of proportions to me it's not the producers it's just just people like just the internet just the fans like people always get hella amped up about stuff that's like okay guys let's just bring it down a notch because you're attacking somebody off of something that you don't even really you know what I'm saying like because if it was really the producers it would have been all over the show the way that the producers are kind of even feeding us the Rachel storyline, she's just very cute and very sweet. They're yeah. really not trying to make her any kind of drama at all. So I feel right. like, I don't even think, I don't think it's the show. And I think even what's come out about Rachel or it even came out about Jed, really, it didn't seem producer, in, how could that be producer induced? Like, hey, found this random girl, went to high school with her, make yeah. sure you make a TikTok and say this lie about her. Like, I don't really get how that would, I don't really get how they would do that. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's, I just it think it's sounds... a natural thing that just happened and it just mm-hmm. ended up kind of snowballing into this big, huge yeah. issue because people get upset about that kind of thing. No, I hear you. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was, I just think it's weirdly similar to the Jed situation. Like, I feel like stuff didn't start coming out about Jed until like on the show, he was fine. There was no drama, just like with Rachel. But then- once like it got towards the end where they knew she was going to pick Jed, you know, it was almost like, no, I don't, I don't think know. So. It, it, it just, is, it, it feeds like into that. the, it just feeds into the conspiracy theory of like the producers wanting them to not be like wanting to stop, like sabotage. I, I don't think so because, yeah. Case, yeah. I mean, I the only like thing I'll say. It's eerily yeah. similar to that. You know what I, I mean? I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, but I think it's, like the only thing where I disagree is that what came out about Rachel literally came out episode one when nobody cared about anybody. Else. Yeah, that's true. And the thing that came out about Jed, that stuff was out about Jed and it was like, it wasn't even final four yet. I don't even think it was yeah. like, it was stuff that they were like, uh, there's some rumors about Jed and it was kind of yeah. like, you know what I mean? It wasn't. So I honestly think it's just a natural thing that happens when you're mm-hmm. on the show. If there's any kind of, yeah on your past somebody is going to blow it up yeah and just you know what I'm saying but for sure I don't know so what was the tea what was the tea that you had you said you had some tea as well so yeah so basically there's some tea about Matt Uh uh-oh and I don't really think it like is a is anything about Matt I think it just was surrounding Matt he was kind of a part of it so basically what happened was I think like last week there was something on somebody's story that is like a friend of Matt and Matt and Tyler C and this other guy and maybe some other people, I don't know, we're golfing. And the guy on the guy who was, you know, filming on his story was kind of trying to throw Matt off his game and saying like stupid stuff and saying jokes and like being like a, being like kind of the jerky, whatever friend, just being like, Oh, talking about some girls. And the main girl he was talking about was Victoria and just basically Mm -hmm. being like, Oh, really? Like, didn't look like that was too much fun kissing her like I don't remember the phrase he said but he said something like you know just kind of maybe like saying something about her body or whatever and Matt and Tyler just were laughing and didn't really say anything and so people were kind of like the way that it leaked was interesting too because it leaked on like a Matt fan account and it was just kind of like a hey Matt's hanging out with his friends and then people mm-hmm. in the comments were like, wait, do you hear what his friend is saying though? And so they were like, mm, Tyler C and Matt are always trying to preach this pro women and yes. no body shaming and anybody is beautiful. And mm-hmm. they're kind of laughing at Victoria and whatever. And my thing is like, I don't know. And the other part of it too, was that Matt, people of course were like coming at Matt and his comments on like his story or his posts after that had come out. 
and like saying like are you going to talk are you going to say something are you talk about that he just was deleting the comments but okay I yeah. I feel like I just don't really feel like that's a that's people are kind of like attaching that to Matt's character and I just am like uh I just think that's just like he has a jerky friend that's saying something douchey right and it's just like he's just kind of laughing like I mean yeah I, Victoria be looking tacky. I can't lie. Oh! <laughs> she be looking crazy. And he was just making a joke. I mean, I'm not, I don't know, whatever. Listen, I, I that, that segue, it's but... funny because I kind of heard a little bit about that, but only in context to Victoria because, you know, Victoria was on Good Morning America and oh, she is like uh, riding her 15 minutes of fame like hard. Mm -hmm. And I, listen, she's going to be on VIP. Like she, she's, she has a whole career out of this, even if she will never learn her lesson about how, like, horrible she behaved. Like, but she was on GMA and totally not owning up to anything. I mean, it was very similar to kind of how the episode went last night about just this idea of, like, oh, it's just playful. It's just, she used the words, like, so I'm just playful and it's not malicious. Like, she, she just said that over and over again and totally didn't take responsibility for any of it like none of right. it it was just like yeah. horrible to watch but then it was like i saw this thing about her commenting about that like about oh, okay. how do you feel about like she commented about him supposedly body shaming her or something like that i just think that's such a reach I'm like, <laughs> but what did she say I'm like, so you have something to say about that but you know, right like, you're not gonna like apologize for your behavior and how like yeah. Like, really? Like, yeah, and I think it's just, true. but it's consistent. It's consistent with her because I feel like even on the show, her whole thing is like, she's so oblivious, Kay, that it's like, she, she'll she literally say about the other girls what she exactly is. Like, they're mm -hmm. toxic, they're negative, mm -hmm. they're this, they're that. And mm -hmm. I'm like, you're literally describing yourself right now. Like, yeah. The, the That's way sad. that you can like gaslight yourself and make it seem like mm -hmm. you're not like you're this like you're the only one that sees what's really happening and no one else like yeah. she's just so I don't understand I really don't get her because I'm like is she <laughs> legit like is she yeah. for real this delusional or is she just has she just never experienced any kind of like like yo, somebody really telling them about themselves, like for sh like in her life, I think you know. Both. I think it's both yeah. things, but I, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I'll talk about Victoria as we go. But I just feel yeah. like to kind of for people to kind of say like, oh, Matt is body shaming her. I just felt like that was a little bit of a reach. Yeah, and I think that like everyone has that friend that says something stupid. And mm -hmm. it's kind of like, you know, and you kind of just, if in, especially if you're, you know, I don't think he knew he was like on camera either. You're kind of just like, right. oh, whatever, laughing it off and just, you don't want to be like, hey man, don't say that about her. What yeah. is he supposed to do? Like, you know what right. I mean? Right. But right. I don't know. But yeah, Victoria, let's, yeah, let's just go to the episode. Let's just go, <laughs> let's jump in. On that note, let's jump in. Okay. Go ahead, girl. Okay. So like, first of all, the first thing that hit me was prior to the rose ceremony, they're like having that like freaking <laughs> Victoria and, and uh, Kit are walking past Michelle and one of the new two of the new girls. Yeah, I think it was Ryan and Brittany, actually. Mm -hmm. And it was like this like Jets versus like yeah. <laughs> freaking West Side Story. Like, I'm like, why are you guys doing this? Like, and da she's da like, da 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 yes. <laughs> I'm like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And the Victoria oh. goes, we haven't even started the hazing process yet. And I was like, what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, this is crazy. And uh, I'm just like, and then I'm just, yeah. Just the comments like beforehand going into the ceremony. I was just like, yo. The things y'all are saying right now, they are going to bite you in the butt in about 20 minutes. <laughs> because then MJ goes, let the varsity squad go first. Then Anna says something like, oh, I'm finally going into a row ceremony where I feel like I'm finally kind of ahead of some people. I'm like, yo, 
you're literally just like digging your grave so much deeper because you're solidifying why you're saying all that trash yeah to make yourself feel better to make yourself feel like you're ahead yeah and I'm just like this is about to this is about to (laughs) yeah and like literally like when he when he okay first off I just wrote down like I honestly feel like this will probably be one of the last times like we see this level of bullying on the show. I, I just feel like it's yeah. put a, such a spotlight on just how toxic and crazy it gets that I just feel like people in newer seasons, you know, there's always going to be a villain. There's always going to be someone who's just kind of like doesn't get along with people, which to me is fine. Like it's normal. It's natural. Right. But I think yeah. there's a level of just like, can we learn how to like it's interesting enough to hear someone in the ITM talking about man this is really hard or I'm jealous or Mm -hmm. even talking about if you have to talk about someone else saying it just in a way of like she's acting a little weird or acting a little straight like I feel like there's a way to do it without like just straight calling calling each other like you know, a hoe or a slut or oh like, God. I just think it, it just got to, it, it got to such a horrible degree in this season that I just, I really honestly, I'm maybe I'm just wishful thinking, but I hope that like next seasons, they're a little bit more just aware of like how crazy it can get and how mm-hmm. it's not going to help you in the long run in terms of just your relationship with the lead, you know? Yeah, so. for sure. So yeah, so then we jump into like his speech coming in, like, yo, can yeah. I just say like Matt? Like I was I was really happy with him this episode. Like I felt Me like too. he handled himself well. Every time he had he said what he needed to say, like he didn't beat around the bush. Oh. And like when he <laughs> Caleb, when he came in and was like talking about just like, yo, like people thinking that you need to tear someone else down and bring yourself high. Like, that is not what I'm looking for. And it like, they zoomed in on Anna's face. <laughs> she was like, Kayla, her face, like the moment so he said something like about ruining someone's life, she was just like, like, like I literally was cracking up. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it was just so annoying because yeah, they instantly felt like, oh crap now it's like I knew I was like now they're gonna be like oh my god I made a mistake like but literally 10 minutes ago you was feeling you was flying high you off flying of what said. yep but what it's I love that he said I he's he was like so I already don't get enough time with y'all and now I have to deal with this right like yeah so Brittany let's talk <laughs> like I'm like period yeah like, clean house let's go I was like, yes, this is about to be served. Thank you, God, because I'm tired of this. No, it was great. And I think it was it was really good for me to hear Brittany out. Like even just hearing people out, I think that was that was good to just get an idea of how bad it was. But when when he pulled Anna aside, like literally, like I wrote down, like she's saying literally what she said, Caleb, was like, I didn't want to ruin this girl's life. You know, I that's why I went to her. But I'm like, you didn't want to ruin this girl's life. So you decided to address it openly in a room full of exactly. people on national television. Exactly. Like, like, what like it just mean? doesn't add up. Like, what? No, it doesn't add up. And even her being like, the minute I said it, like, I just regretted it immediately. And I just, I'm like, no, you didn't. You regretted it five minutes ago when he addressed y'all in the room. You did not regret it immediately yeah. after you said it. Like, what are you talking about? And it just, even her like deciding when to say that about Britney showed that it was calculated because yeah. when she first got there, you weren't, you weren't going to say anything. Yep. You were like, oh, I kind of know her, but, uh. and you were like, oh, I don't know her though. Just kind of being like, right. I'm not going to say, you like, she wasn't going to say anything. Then after she pissed you off by interrupting you, then you were like, okay, so now I'm going to tell about her. Now I'm gonna, yeah. So I'm like, no, you are mali-. like, so her being like, mm. I just have a rash thinking about how terrible I was. And it was so out of character for me. And I just literally, I'm like, my argument is I'm just like, yeah, honey, no, that, that is your character. You got caught. Like you got, you got caught. caught. 
let's just be honest. Like, That's you're not, not sorry that you did yeah. it. You're sorry you got caught. Let's just be honest. Like, yep. I'm surprised that she actually did go and apologize. They didn't show that on camera, but like, she did go and apologize. But it's like, you go and apologize after you've already spread this rumor around the entire house and you've aired it on national television. Like, I get that you're like, sorry, quote unquote, but it's like, what are you actually you, sorry about? Yeah. Are you sorry at the result of what you said that now Matt's like, yeah, so I have a responsibility to make sure this environment is safe. So I now literally have to send you home because you're making people feel like, are you sorry about that? Are you genuinely sorry because you said something terrible? Yeah. About yeah. somebody's character, you know? So I just, Yo, that whole, was pissed. Yeah. Matt yeah, he was, was pissed. <laughs> he did such a good job controlling his emotions, but he you did. could just tell he was like genuinely pissed off. Mm -hmm. Like, I yep. cannot believe y'all are acting like this. Literally. No, it's so true. It's true. So, so true. Yeah. And then what we, what came out when Ryan talked to, Vic, Ryan talked to um, Matt about what Victoria said about her, clearly off camera because they didn't even mm -hmm. play it at all. Yeah. About just because she was a dancer, she was a hoe. Like, yo, Kayla. I was like, yo, these girls are brazen. They like, are great. Like, they are brutal. Like, I was Kayla, literally like, the, literally the thing I thought about, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't, like, maybe I shouldn't say this, right? Like, Go I wrote this down. I was like, Ryan. Victoria called her a hoe to her face. Like, this girl is ripping off people's crowns calling people sluts and hoes to their face and then just saying oh i'm playful it's just, it's, not, it's just playful i'm not malicious in my mind kayla i don't know if i should say this but i'm like how do i put this yo this girl has only been around like certain kind of people because I was say, she's like, asking to i literally know people <laughs> if you were, if you her. call someone a hoe to their face it's like wait what'd you say <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on hold on like, no if this was a different wait. show she would have been she would have been got like yo like she has not been around the kind of people that need to like i i hate to, to be this, around but she needs she just needs to i, I don't want to say this maybe i shouldn't but she's one of those people who just needs to get her behind me one time. One time. Just, just one good one, time. One good time. And she will learn that you can't just be going and saying whatever little thing come to your mouth. Exactly. Like, I'm like, she's glad she's lucky she's on this show because if they snatch her up, they'll go, they're going home. So they can't. Yeah. But right. She's never been around somebody who will like. I personally know people that will snatch you. Oh no! But like, you know what? Though girl has not been around like. No, clearly not. And like yeah. all jokes aside, too, it's not even just about like oh, like getting your behind beat or whatever. It's genuinely like clearly she's never had a consequence for things that she no, said literally. about somebody. Literally. Yeah. Clearly, because she didn't learn that. Yeah, you can't just. Like when she had the conversation with Katie, like last week or whatever it was, she's like, I just express myself. And I'm like, no, honey, like you clearly have never learned that you can't just express yourself out of the expense of like someone else's feelings. You can't literally, I, you cannot actually just say whatever you want. That's act. That's just not how life works. So yeah, it's just I just like, hope that this was like an actual lesson for her to just but now I'm just like, I don't know, though, because she's what, like 27? She's kind of on the older side. I mean, after, right. I'm sure the backlash, she's whatever, too old. Is, you know, at this point, if she, seeing her on GMA, I was like, man, there ain't no hope for, her. like, in terms of her look, kind of learning her lesson, because she's just she's, like, yeah. it was, like, you can't call someone a hoe and say, I'm just playful. Like, well, no, like, yeah. you don't know her, like, you know, you don't, yeah. I just, and I was she proud just, of. She's so oblivious. Like she's so. She's just so like she. She just has so many issues. It's insecurity. It's it's emotionally like dumb. It's immature. Like everything. She's just everything under the sun. And then on top of that, I'm just kind of like, 
yeah to have not really have any remorse you're mm. just a tr yeah. you're just a crappy person and <laughs> even ryan being like yo yeah i brought you up like yo i was like i wasn't expecting her to say that to her face but she was just like yeah no so i did bring you up yeah you, you said this about me and victoria's like so you're fake and she's like huh <laughs> <laughs> oh my fake like victoria is just Listen, even when talking she, to Matt, Matt was so yeah pissed. go ahead go ahead I was just about to say that was, no Matt was just so pissed like so you called her a hoe and she's like oh my god no so out of context please explain to me how calling somebody a hoe in context would be okay and she just sat there and he was like yeah so <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was like period I'm that kidding. was literally my favorite moment of the episode him oh. him saying that to her like Cause he was very calm. It was very, very it was a very intelligent response. Like, no, oh my God, that was so taken out of context. Okay, well then, what context? In what context is calling a person a hoe ever like okay? Ever okay? Ever. Explain it. Explain. And sat there <laughs> waiting. <laughs> yeah, yes. I was living. Literally, but. and like literally to me, Anna, Anna was probably the only person that. I felt like when she was leaving, she wasn't like a cat. Like, because every other, okay, Kayla, every other person that literally just got caught and is getting called out, like Victoria, MJ, like when I see them, I literally just like picture like a cat in a corner. Like, that's just like, yo, they ain't gonna be meek and be like, I'm sorry, I didn't do, I should have done that. They gonna fight. They gonna fight <laughs> to the nail. Out. Like they're 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 going out swinging, they're going out right. scratching, and right. that's literally Victoria and MJ. Like you, there's no remorse, there's no owning up to it, there's no any like at least to me, at least Anna was like, yo, I just got caught up. Like yo, this yeah. is this, you yeah. know. I really do believe that Anna just got caught up. Yeah, I think her so. Security made her kind of just act crazy, but yeah. at least she didn't go out and just make it worse on her way out. I think it's Victoria true. and MJ was like the example of like, yo, these girls really You're just, just stealing the deal. You're just confirming, up, you know? Yeah, and, and by them acting like that, it's just confirming that, yeah, that's really your care. Like that's your character is yeah. what you've shown. And yep. I don't know, even just like, oh, all the apologies after the fact. It's like, nah, like, I don't know. That was just super bothersome to me because I'm like, y'all are grown women acting yeah. like this and treating people like this and only apologizing mm -hmm. because it now is affecting you. Like, it's just, it was just so frustrating mm -hmm. to watch, but I'm glad it all came out. And yep. yeah, so the rose ceremony into, too is interesting. Yeah. Yep. The rose ceremony, I was going to say like, okay, so number one, I wrote down them in order. So it's number one is Brit was Brit. Yeah, which was clearly a like tactic by Matt being like, yes, sure. you get the first rose because yep. you're, you know. Yep. One and two, Brit and Ryan was both and like, Ryan. let me give this to y'all, let y'all know like, this is not okay. You yeah. Know? Yep. And he didn't even say anything um, when he walked into the rose ceremony. He was just like, mm -hmm. <sighs> Just picked up the rose because he's tired. <laughs> he was so okay. tired. Here's a question I have for you, um, Lou. Is like, what uh -huh. do you feel like? I personally feel like he knew about the MJ stuff then, but he just waited to talk about it. Or do you feel like the producers were like, let's wait and do that later? Like the way they mm -hmm. set up the arc of the kind of two on one ish kind of thing with her and Jasenia because. I feel like he, I feel like he knew there was more cleaning house that needed to be done, yeah. but it just needed to wait. Do you think that too? Absolutely. Because okay. he waited until that group date. And when did he ever talk to him? When did he ever talk to the women prior to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because clearly he talked to them and her name came up during that cocktail right. party. So yeah, I think he just, produ the producer slash him just waited. Yeah. yeah. Got but, it. But, um. Yeah, so I, I think, I think like the other thing that stood out to me during this rose ceremony was that Abigail got a rose pretty late, and I feel like it Very late. foreshadowed the whole episode. Any moment with Abigail is like, yep, she sees yeah. it. She sees she's falling behind, and I'm like, 
yes. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew her mm-hmm. first impression role was, was gonna be almost the kiss of death because I'm just like it's just so weird. Like so it's weird, just, but it's just, it's so funny how the happening. last two how the last two like people other than Claire, like the last two people, their first impression rose, it was kind of like a throwaway. But actually Peter what was Peter's first impression, Rose? I think it the might Madison? have been. I thought people said it was no. Mad, right? Oh, I don't know. I actually think it was Hannah, Hannah, the one, Hannah um, be the one picking. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I just think it's weird that that with Tash <clears throat> and with, with Matt, it's like, I always, I almost wonder, like, was, was his thing with Abigail legit or was he just trying to make her feel like, secure that night and feeling like great that mm-hmm. night because I just feel like there was there's there has been nothing with them ever yeah since. I think it was just genuinely like a first oh my god spark with this person and it just actually mm-hmm. just really didn't end up going anywhere I don't right. think it was like oh I'm gonna make her feel a certain way I feel like I don't yeah. know I think it was just yeah just the end up fading but yeah I was I was also surprised that Serena C she always <laughs> She always pulls out with the lap. Like, she just keeps nope. sticking around. I'm like, I have never seen this woman of God talk to Matt in my life. And Literally. she just sticks around <laughs> over, like, Mari, Lauren. Mm-hmm. Like, those yep. two, I was surprised that they went home. But the order, the order was pretty much, like, when I saw the order, Britt, Ryan, Rachel, Serena P., Maggie, Kit, MJ, Jacinia, Katie, Abigail, Chelsea, Serena C. Like, it just, I was like, okay, I actually thought Chelsea would be up a little bit higher. Like, I'm surprised that Maggie's number five and Chelsea's number 11 out of 12. Yeah. So, but like, I feel like it, it fit, like, in terms of where I feel like they are, he is with them. Like, but can we just say, like, I, I breathed a sigh of relief when it was like, yes, thank God the Victoria oh, show. Yeah. <sighs> like, thank God the Victoria show is over because I'm just, I'm so over it. Like, I'm done. So over it. And she just spewed her venom on all the way out. I mean, even to him, like, she just to turned him, on too, I forgot about that. <laughs> I was like, this girl, she, she pulls no punches. She's just. Literally. Yeah, she leaves no stone unturned. She's like, oh, y'all didn't think I was going to say that? Hmm, here it goes. <laughs> She's just but, like, he's not even that great anyway. I mean, I don't even, I mean, he is not my person. Like, he is just, I was like, really? Like, you're so going to dog I was like, somebody who two weeks ago, seen. you supposedly were like, I really like this guy. I really like feel a connection. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, he's the worst. He's not my person. I'm like, honey. Just go just, home, please. Just, just go please home. Stop talking. They just kept letting her talk too. I was like, oh my God, please shut her up. I'm so sick. I'm yeah. sorry. I couldn't yeah. hear it no more. Okay, but so yeah. uh, the ones we said goodbye to was Cat the girl Cat Catalina, I think her name was. Oh yes, I forgot Catalina. Yeah. the newbies. Mari went home, which I was surprised by a little bit. I I felt like Mari would have stayed over someone like Serena C or even Me Maggie, too. you know. But, Especially Lauren too. I felt like yeah, Lauren, I was Lauren. surprised. Yeah, for sure. And then Victoria, of course. So, um, yeah. all right. So then next up was Rachel's one-on-one. <clears throat> what did you think about Chris coming in and kind of like highlighting the fact that this was like, you know, past the halfway point and like this is getting real now? Like, do you feel like that was like a little bit of a foreshadowing of like? this is the week that people get the dates that are re- that really matter or something. What, do you, what did you think about um, that? I don't know. I didn't really think anything of it. I just felt like he just was like, oh, let me, I think it just was, is what it was, what it was. Like, yeah, this is the halfway line, so it's going to get serious now. But I just feel like, yeah, but y'all are still amping up the drama. It ain't really serious to me. It's not really serious until it's like final six, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, It just whatever. made me nervous because I, because then she got, he got the date she got uh Rachel got the date and I just felt like it was a thing of like yo he's wanted a date with I felt like it was he was saying without saying that like yo he's wanted a date with Rachel this time he's finally getting this date with Rachel and this is something like legit like something legit about to happen you know yeah um I mean the, the whole time I was just like okay Kayla just 
try to watch it without thinking of what you know or may what may or may not be true of her and I, I think that my thoughts about it would have nothing to do with like those feelings I just felt mm -hmm. like they definitely have a very comfortable vibe the date obviously was like oh them shopping and she seemed genuinely excited mm -hmm. but I think that like like some of the things they were saying at first, like she was just like, oh my God, I, I have yet to find one thing I don't love about him. My heart is full of Matt. And at first I was like, okay, you're forcing it. But then I felt like, no, I think that they have, I think her and Matt have that classic bachelor, bachelorette thing where it's like, you're watching it and you're like, what? why are y'all so obsessed with each other off of yes. nothing it's like they yeah. have that connection that's just like not really based off anything mm -hmm. that you're like like becca and garrett or like yeah. those couples that you're like but like why when you have this person that you actually connect on this this and this with that with them yeah. and it seems perfect with this other person but then you know what i'm saying they yes. have that vibe and i'm just like i feel like and it scares me, Kayla, because I'm like, Becca and Garrett, like, honestly, Hannah and Jed, yeah. like, like all the, I feel like all the people that or all the past leads that have picked people that people are like, really? Like, mm -hmm. I guess I kind of saw it, but I'm like, why? Like, why is there? A, and I don't know, but I'm like you, I really went into it. Like, let me just be open because I do feel like obviously this girl's personality like is really coming forth and she just mm -hmm. seems so quiet i don't think it's forced or like she's doing it on i feel like she's a she she's quiet like mm -hmm. she's kind of reserved not reserved but like a little reserved and like mm -hmm. just like all the things that was happening like even her talking to him and saying like i just feel like you're out of my league like i really yeah. do like i i, I was really I, like I felt like it was genuine. I really yeah. did. Yeah. I felt like what everything she said I felt was yeah. genuine. I was shocked by like her being like, yo, I'm falling in love. I was like, what? Yeah, like, that threw me. I was like, wait, 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 wait. That threw wait, me. Wait, wait. And then him <laughs> saying he felt the same way. I was like, yo, I'm scared right now. Because yeah. like, I agree with you. It's like, they must have this connection that we are not either either not seeing as much and maybe they're making it seem as though oh it's with brie it's so much or with michelle it's so much mm -hmm. like like blake you know like becca yeah. and blake it's like yeah. everybody saw it everybody knew like there was yeah. supposed to be together or rachel and peter or whatever you know but mm -hmm. then it's like the one that you don't really see coming is the one that it's like they end up picking so yeah. i'm just it made me scared, but I did feel like, yo, let me give this girl a chance. And at the end of the day, I felt like, even though I don't get what the connection is, with, I, I mean, I still feel like she may, she may be genuine. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely see it. I, I, I think it just confused me off of what I heard about her. Cause I'm like, this is a completely different person than what I would expect out of right. what they, what has been said of her in her past so i mean my only conclusion is like maybe she's just grown yeah. um my only issue again him choosing her is that my the one thing that's ringing in my head is like yo when black lives matter was, was at its height this summer you should have been in, like all over it in your social media and you had a whole highlight of pro police and i just am like that's the only thing is like the ignorance there yeah. To, to then go date a black man who you want to spend the rest of your life with, and you're like, oh, I can see a life with him. I want to start a life with him. I'm just like, sis. But yeah. you need to educate yourself a little bit more. And like, yeah. so that's my only issue with her. But I, yeah, I feel like they just, they're falling in love with each other. And I'm just like, it's even their dinner date of, the, oh, he wants to go deeper with her. It didn't really go that deep. She was just kind of like, yeah, I'm like not really confident in myself, which I was just like, I mean, okay. I don't know. Like she's whatever. I just kind of was just like, it's still a little surface to me though. I don't really feel like they actually connect on anything. I feel like here's what I think it is. I feel like Rachel is like the girl that Matt's always been like into, like even since college. Like she is the classic his type. Wow. That's the sense I get. She's just like that's that. the sense you're getting. 
that's just that's the sense I get it's like Hmm. she's the girl he's always kind of going after Hmm. and that's really all it's kind of that's the main thing it's based off of yeah I I I don't know I I guess I can see what you're saying like um I think I just yeah I agree in the sense that what about her is going to make her stand out more or be like his relationship with her be deeper than someone like a Michelle or a Brie or yes. speaking of Brie, they didn't show her at all this up this season. I episode. know she was oh, super, like, yeah. They usually they give you a little glimpse of her with her and Matt. Yeah. They didn't give anything. Like, I mean, yeah. they would show her when around every other everyone else, but she was she never they never showed an ITM with her. They never showed him and he her had at one all. ITM when Rachel came back from her date, I think. Brie did? Brie, yeah, it was Brie talking okay. and just being like, you know, everyone sees her with her shopping bags, which was totally producers, her coming right. back in between. First of all, there was nothing in them bags. Them bags <laughs> was empty. <laughs> did you see those bags? There was not anything in them. I was like, hey, there was stuff in them bags. What do you mean there was nothing in the bags? I bag? think they just amped it up and gave her all like a bunch of bags that looked like she had all this stuff. Not saying he didn't buy her anything. I'm just saying they just were trying to make it so extra. And I'm like, those bags look like it's just tissue paper and maybe a box, like a small box in there. Like these huge bags that she's just like, oh my God. Like it's trying to carry good. them. <laughs> but oh, on that note too, that's when I started noticing Piper being like, mm-hmm. she was starting to see the difference between like, yeah. How he, or she felt like, yo, I don't, I don't know if like I'm in the same space with Matt as like a Rachel or somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think was interesting that some of the girls are starting to feel like, yeah, I'm falling behind. I really don't have control over that. I'm st- cause mm-hmm. it's not like they can just be like leave or just be like, well, I just feel like you like her more. So I'm leaving or something like right. that. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, what can you do when you're in that situation, but just keep sticking it out, you know? Yeah. It's just tough. It's, it's one of those it's times tough. where it just you're I'm very staunchly aware of how like yo I can't imagine being in a situation like this like where you're dating someone and really liking someone and you know potentially falling for someone who is just openly dating other people like obviously yeah you signed up for this you know I think but I, it just doesn't make it any easier you know I can I can totally imagine like yo that's crazy <laughs> like that's yeah. really crazy like so because we get then we get into this group date I love this farming date it was so cute um <laughs> I I wrote down I wish someone had to- at least told these girls not to dress too nice like I know be shoveling manure and like wearing like leather and boots, right like, like, I'm like somebody tell these girls to you know not mess with their clothes boots. I know they didn't set them up right and then I wrote down yo that moment with Piper though like bruh that was the one time in the whole episode I was like Yo. I loved it because it felt very like real. Like it was, it you could tell it so wasn't real. It was real. Like he wasn't <laughs> supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. He was running away from MJ. And then, you know, she is doing her ITM and he's, she's like, oh, you want to come to interview with me? And he just walked up and planted one on her. I was like, oh, yo, like, that, was that was so, so hot. I'm here to <laughs> tell you. No, it wasn't. Ooh, <laughs> like and I just felt like that that moment I was like okay now there's something with him and Piper for real yeah that he literally and then afterwards he was just like he kept kissing her kept kissing her and was just mm-hmm. like okay you're gonna get me in trouble like I gotta go <laughs> I was just like oh okay let's not sleep there's something going there's something brewing no there's something brewing for sure for sure he's a I, sleeper she I don't know if he's gonna he her, but He's a sleeper for sure. For I don't sure. know. She's final four energy. So, you know, she's final, final four, four energy, energy to me. Really? I don't know. I have to see. I think she's going to get a one on one next week and then I'll. She's, yeah, she's you can back. tell she is. So we'll see. But like final four, that means she's going to bump who though? Like, I think Serena P might be out of here. I don't know. Really? Mm-hmm. 
or maybe she's number four. Maybe it's Michelle Bree, Serena P, and Piper. Rachel, though. Well, wait, Rachel. No, Rachel's got yeah. it. True. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's either her or yeah. Serena P. Maybe. If she's final know. four, maybe. I don't know. But, yo, MJ okay, was being so, so annoying on that date. Like, who was annoying? Really, MJ, trying to, like, oh, yeah. I know those girls who are, like, you know, they're acting like, oh, my God, you, just for attention. It's just, like, are you in, like, are we in eighth grade? <laughs> Like, come on. You're like 24, however old you are. Like, grow up. Like, yeah. you can find other ways to get his attention by not acting out. Like, it's an, it was so annoying. And it didn't yeah, even work. Because he literally is- ran away from her to go with Piper. I'm like, yeah. And you don't like her. Her catching, her catching that egg and then running after him. I was like, girl, you think you're going to catch this man? Like, right. The right. whole football player, black Jesus. man running away from you. Yeah, girl, did you catch him? Like, <laughs> with no egg on his hand. Her right. trying to attempt to run after him. I was like, girl, go sit down. She's just forcing it the whole time. You catch him. <laughs> oh, but, my God. That was cute. So, um, yeah, then the dinner portion, yeah. she's like, he pulls Chelsea aside first, which I thought was cute. That was cute, him and Chelsea, even though I'm like, but, okay. Yeah, I just felt like, hmm. Yeah. I don't really know. It wouldn't. It didn't go that deep. It was just kind of like, "Hey, I just like you're you're cool, like you." Right. <laughs> and she's just like, "Thanks." I just feel like it just wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. But, then Abigail. Finally, we get to hear Abigail's like a little bit of her story, and I I just oh my god, her story's so heartbreaking. Oh my gosh. Um, she's so brave for being on a show like this, and you know, it was really sad to hear like not only what happened with her father, but just the reality of like her life in terms of dating and having to kind of like, let that be known. Like, and I think it's good, like that she's letting it known early because I think Mm -hmm. that's the right thing to do. Like give the person the opportunity to know like, okay, this is what it would be like. And it was just sad. It was like, wow. You know, the, the fact that if, if, you know, if she has children, um, there's a high chance that they, could be deaf um yeah but I think that she's gonna I I don't see it with her and Matt like I I you know we kind of know it's not gonna go anywhere with her and Matt but Mm -hmm. it did make me go like oh hon you're gonna find someone who like that's not a deal breaker for them like yeah they're gonna learn sign language or maybe they have someone in their family who's deaf who they already you know they identify with that and for sure you know, live a full life and, and, you know, she's going to find that. I'm like, I'm such a, I'm such a pastor right now. I'm like, you're going to find it. Don't worry, honey. Like, no, I pray for her. Like, no yeah. I'm praying for her. Yeah. No, I think she will. I think that hopefully Matt kind of takes that. Cause one thing that I, that stuck out to me was her being like, yo, I'm a little bit afraid to be that vulnerable because you could also leave. So I'm kind of just like, uh, you know, so I hope Matt, will kind of just yeah be wise about when she kind of goes home yeah and let her know ahead of time and not at like a rose ceremony or something like that yeah um yeah. I but, definitely see that for sure like it being a oh let me pull you aside and do it kind of thing yeah then. yeah for sure and I think so then the other thing too about this that was Michelle all day she's been a little shook from having yeah. a one-on-one right to like now being on a group date and I thought see now this is how I would expect Sarah to kind of have been if it would have if it was like okay that's understandable yeah like she's genuinely shook like oh my gosh okay now I have to shift because I had I my first my first time with you was just like just us to now like we're kind of almost taking a step back like I felt like her response Mm -hmm. to that was way more mature that I was just like okay so yeah this makes sense to me yep um but uh, you know I think too it would not help to look at her crying stuff I think that was also just like dealing with the bullying and the side comments from the other girls and that kind of thing but yeah yeah I felt like yeah Matt I reassured her their connection I love I love their connection so much I'm like I'm just hoping it continues I hope it's not something that like peaks peak too soon type thing you know I'm I'm a little worried about that with Brie I'm like do they peak too soon like 
-hmm. you know, like sometimes like, like we said, like, is it better to have this kind of slow burn? And then with Rachel, it come at the right exact moment than, mm -hmm. you know, someone who just had it right away from the beginning. But I, mm -hmm. I just felt like when he sat down with Michelle, he said it, and I loved how he said like, yo, we just met like a couple of days ago. It doesn't feel yeah. like that. So yeah. Yeah. I love that. Cause I feel like that's, that's really that's really how I, how I feel about their connection as well. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So, and I think, I think Brie too, I feel like now that, now that I'm remembering, like I remember there being a clip in the promo for the whole season where Matt and her had, had the same outfits on, but they, there was a scene where they were like kissing and they had a moment or whatever they showed in the preview, but they didn't show in the episode. So maybe they kind of decided to like not, air it or him, something him and who him and rachel him and said? Brie. i said rachel i meant brie oh him and brie yeah and so on that group date so Got i don't it. know i think him and brie have like a steady thing mm -hmm. going they're just editing it out i think they're just kind of choosing what to show especially because there was this whole thing with mj and jacenia yeah. <laughs> too that they had to make time for that i was just like what is going yeah let's on? talk let's talk about that uh, so, well actually we can talk about that like well i mean yeah let's talk about it now because okay. it just happened so like mj basically sits with matt and he's like so yeah basically i heard that you were antagonizing some things and kind of stirring things up and you are being divisive mm -hmm. and so what's good with that and she was just like, what? Like, I don't know. I just, I was just kind of like, you were. Like, you were being divisive. Yes. You literally were like, you, you, you guys don't know. Like, you, you're coming in here all happy and you don't even know. Like, get ready. And all this, like, animosity. I'm just like, yes, yeah, sis, that was your energy. Yep. And this whole, I lead by example and my actions speak for itself. I'm like, uh -huh. exactly. And this is what's happening. Your yeah, actions are speaking she, for itself. If what? she said that one more time, I was gonna literally slap someone. I was like, I'm like, what are you talking about? Lead by example. What, what does it mean? It's like exactly. You are supposed to lead by example, and this is the example that you that you're like, setting. Huh? Oh like, how God. are these people this oblivious, Kay? Like, how are they this delusional, clueless? Like, literally. I don't know. Like, yeah, I actually speak loud in words. And like, I, she, she kept saying something like, oh, I just promote love and harmony and peace and whatever. And I'm like, I was like, okay. where? If, like, even if, even if you do and we didn't see that, you still are saying all this other stuff that's like, be consistent, sweetheart. Like, yeah, you're leading by example. So lead by example and be this way. And it's so funny that Jacenia like says to her at one point, like you're three different people like you're one person with you know in the house at home and then you're another foot one with, way with Matt and then you're another one with mm -hmm. the cameras on and like I I just I think that's fitting like I I can I see that fair. yeah I think I think with this ver MJ versus Jacenia I've just kind of like yeah Jacenia is getting a little upset and kind of popping off but I feel like she's just I feel like that's out of a genuine, like, yo, I'm tired of this. Like, no, yeah. that's what she said. So just stop. She's not even like, she's pissed off in like a different way where MJ's pissed off in like a, you got caught and she's kind of scared. She's, she's shook. Just exactly. sending like, sweetie, no, you literally said JV versus varsity. <laughs> yeah. And, and you when started you asked that. me, I brought you up because that's what you said. Yeah. It's so... Like you're going to have to just own up to it, like own yeah. up to your, your supposed actions or your supposed leading by example, like own up to what you've said and done. It's like, she doesn't have the maturity to, to even mm -hmm. just acknowledge it or own up to it. Or she wants to pretend like it just doesn't exist. And it's like, no, your actions and your words have, have consequences. Like, yeah. it's very simple, yeah. darling. Like this is and life. Even, this yeah. Is. Katie, even Katie, like, kind of jumping on because she was right there when they were having that conversation and Katie was just like yeah see right now I feel like you're just like you're kind of like 
I think she said like deflecting you're like deflecting. you're like yeah. you no know, you're literally that's what you did like Katie jumping on just on your side I was like yes yeah, he yeah like yeah. it's just that's what it is what it is like it's yeah. not kind of like oh no Jasenia is just like it's Jasenia versus MJ I think Jasenia is kind of the mouthpiece of how I bet a lot of other people feel absolutely and I don't even feel like Jasenia was like popping off and getting like I just think she was like yo just own up to it like mm-hmm. <laughs> like let's mm-hmm. just be honest like at least Anna did you know I mean I know Victoria mm-hmm. didn't but we didn't expect that but I'm saying like just own up to what you said like this is yeah. what you said you know so anyway so then we get into Kit's date I was surprised that Kit got a date I was like okay Kit so surprised <laughs> yeah for sure I thought it was sweet like her saying um like her like her kind of getting emotional and like mm-hmm. the fact that he really listens and like you know it's a home yeah. date it's a kitchen date I personally love these kinds of dates I wish my I favorite kind of dates that all of the dates all like, the one-on-ones were like this they're just so <laughs> uh, authentic and real and this is what real life is like you're not only yeah. living things all the time you know and I, I honestly feel like every, like, even if you do the fun stuff during the day, I feel like the night portion of every day should be like this. It should be like, you guys totally back at there, that. back at his place, cooking something and yeah. like, you know, that's. Yeah, like, that would be cute. Like, I, I love those kind of dates, like with Tasha and Ivan. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved that. Um, love yeah, that was like my favorite thing. And what made me really weak <laughs> at the beginning before she got there was him like, did you see him like swiffering the table and like, <laughs> putting things right with her? He's just like, okay, you're gonna put that in. He's like, look the candle. Like, like, he's like, <laughs> the way he was doing it had me so dead. I was like, I'm really weak. But, and um, he's even talking about it, like how he's like, I, you know, she's kind of stylish. I gotta, yeah, I gotta like put on my outfit. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> oh my gosh and she looks really cute I liked her hair and her outfit was like cool but chill and she's um, so yeah cute. like she she's she surprised me in this whole date yeah yeah what do you think Good. of Kit I think that Kit is somebody that came in and everyone thought oh this is gonna be Victoria versus Kit yep. and I actually think she was more chill and just kind of like I don't know I think the persona of rich girl like whatever mm-hmm. quickly mm-hmm. spinned into Something that I actually related to in terms of like being a kid growing up in like some sort of spotlight, you know, with my parents being like pastors or whatever and kind of growing yeah. up and everyone were kind of looking at you and mm-hmm. there was a level, this is so funny because she's 21, I'm 25. So I literally wrote down, I remember being her age <laughs> and feeling like, yo, I, I, I'm recognizing that I need to grow emotionally because I've actually... Mm-hmm kind of turn my emotions off so that I can kind of protect myself in a way and yeah I really related to that and I was just like yo Uh she's a genuine person and realizing that she's growing emotionally and but on the other side of that I was just like uh I feel like they're not on the same page so that yeah I mean yo it's crazy that you say that because I completely I know how that as well like just in terms of like you know, I, and this is weird that we're talking about this, but I, I feel yeah. like sometimes being like a PK, like growing up as a PK, it it does have this, or or the idea that like a lot of people kind of know who you are and like, you just have to like, you almost, not, I don't, I don't want to say you put on like a facade, but you kind of like, you have, you kind of look at. Yeah, yeah, like you want to present yourself well and you want to, you know, not that you want to pre- pre- like, pretend like you're perfect or something because obviously we're not Mm -hmm. but um I do feel like sometimes you you kind of the like real authentic part of you like a lot of people don't like don't really see and you have to learn how to like like kind of navigate that so I it's so funny that you said that because I was like I I kind of understand identify with that too and I think um I think her opening up and being vulnerable with him like, even if her and him don't end up being anything, I think that was a step for her that I think is is good that she took because, yeah. you know, I feel like, hey, this will help in her next relationship. And sure. they'll have learned something that, yo, I need to, like, be vulnerable and it's okay, like, to let my guard down, you know, and, and do that. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. And him, him being, him being so comfortable with her yeah. too, and just like their connection. Mm-hmm. It was really sweet to watch, but I was just like, again, that this was the, this was the straw for me that I'm um, not the straw that broke the camel's back, but it was like the final thing where I was just like, yo, Matt is really going to have a hard time. Yeah. Like, yeah. cause he really is letting himself get like, we really into so many be- different people Yeah, that I'm like, this is about to be tough for <laughs> like yeah he's connected yeah. with so many women gonna be interesting <laughs> so yeah so then the, we end the episode with them basically setting up this two-on-one with not a real two-on-one but really just like a two-on-one type of moment with Jacinia and MJ I I honestly loved <laughs> when, when MJ was just like going off and just like blah blah blah, blah, blah having a bunch of stuff and Jacinia's just sitting there like <laughs> and like, then are you like, done? Well, okay, are you done? <laughs> like, I love no. that. <laughs> I was like, I need Justenia to keep this this unbothered energy right now because exactly it's going to show him like this is the person that's really just like, yeah, I'm just telling the truth, and mm-hmm. I'm not really emotional about it. Yeah, like she's bugging out because she's caught and she's yes. trying to save face and. Yeah, you know, we'll see what happens with this yeah one one situation. It's gonna be I, I I just think it's annoying, and I just feel like it's so producer yeah. induced, like trying sure. to make it bigger than it actually really is as well. Like even the moment where they like walk their suitcases up and they're like, <laughs> and then turn. I was just like, oh god, <laughs> really? this is not yeah. a freaking movie. Calm down. Yeah. Um, so I don't know I just am like I feel like once this is over well shoot I want to say once this blows over we can just get to back to normal and just like everyone's cool everyone's just like genuinely we're trying to figure out our our relationship with Matt like whatever but then in the commercial they're showing Serena C and Katie popping off and then Heather comes. I'm just like, oh my no, god! Can yeah, can we talk about the next week? Like, like, like Heather, really, honey? Like, like Heather? Just no. Literally, I wanted to just go to her car and be like, just turn around and just go back. Turn around, girl. Just, just turn. Turn, like, why are you here, sweetheart? Like, you're gonna come in six weeks in. Like, why? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, why do they, and I'm sorry, this is producer in, like, it just is. There's Mm -hmm. no way six weeks in, she decided to come. She wanted, she probably wanted to come night one. And they probably were like, okay, just wait or quarantine a little bit and see and whatever. But like, yo, it's like, it's, to me, it's calculated. Like you brought in five girls at week four. And then now, like, you're going to bring Heather in at week six? Like, why? It's just, I'm, I'm so over it, Kay. I'm so I'm over it. I'm just over all of the, like, producer antics. I'm like, just let the season just naturally go. Like, can you just yeah. stop trying to, like, position everything to, like, get certain, like, you know, I don't know. It's just like, you'll just let it be for yeah. once. Just let it be, you know? Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really showed, care. He's just irrelevant to me, too. I don't. They know. also <laughs> showed Tyler. Tyler is coming. Oh yeah! It's like finally, uh, finally, finally. That's gonna be interesting to see. Yeah, I think it'll be cute to have a it'll have an cute. actual conversation with someone he actually knows. Exactly. <laughs> it'll be not good. Like some, like not like a Ben H, like pretending <laughs> like we're friends, kind of thing. Yeah, like you've like, never spoken to him until right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I no, just hope Candy B doesn't show up because that's going to be annoying to me. I'm sorry. Oh God, I hope not. Oh, just oh like, God, I hope not. we don't need another quarantine crew. <laughs> no, no, we don't. We're good. <laughs> like, bring Tyler. He's his real best friend. Just like his real best friend. Fine, perfect. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm definitely you know. It, it was a good episode. I felt like it was, it was, it was pretty, pretty full in terms of just like getting every, I was glad the whole episode wasn't the first row ceremony. I mean, it took up a big chunk of time, but we still got to see two one-on-one dates. We still got to see a full group date. Yeah. So sometimes, you know how some episodes you feel like that was a big giant waste of time. Like it was just all row ceremony, but I yeah. felt like they showed a good amount and 
yeah, we'll see what's going to happen next week. See what happens next week. Same Ooh. bat time, same bat channel. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, so don't forget, like always, to leave us some comments down below. Um, don't forget to like this video if you did like it. Share it with some people who also love talking about The Bachelor. And Yay. subscribe to our channel so you can see our videos every single week. <laughs> and um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.